When Mum and Dad bought the farm, because it was literally a farm when it was purchased, Mum and Dad came out onto this property at the time and just fell in love with it from the moment that they drove down the driveway because of Dad's passion and love for wine and for Heathcote wine in particular, that he then saw a vision of being able to grow um, a family business. Then the, the sanguine property grew and, the, and we planted more vines to the extent that Mum and Dad couldn't manage themselves. So they've said to my brother, what do you think about running the vineyard and managing the vineyard? But you'd have to go back to school. So my brother, I think within the first six months, knew this was his calling. It was his destiny. He was meant to be doing this. Southern Heathcote will have you more peppers and spices. Very North Heathcote has a lot more fruit-driven wines. Central Heathcote, where Sanguine's positioned, has the combination of both. So we have gorgeous fruit power, but also with this fabulous spicy savouriness. Probably best described as a backstage pass. Heathcote is run by your mums and your dads. We run our own businesses, we are the face of our businesses. Heathcote is about its wine. Its wine is everything and its international status is its wine. You can easily spend a whole weekend drive up on Friday afternoon after work, go back late Sunday afternoon. Pretty much all of our menu is local. We use a lot of produce from Tuberek area, Gornong area, Harcourt, and also Bendigo, so we use the Good Loaf, which is an artisan sourdough bakery. Um, our coffee is Brewhouse Coffee, which is roasted from Bendigo. Most of our wines by the glass, I make sure are local, so support them, because then people can try different things and maybe buy the bottles or go and visit the vineyard as well. So you're not just helping us, you're helping everybody in the region. And, uh, I think it was the 14th of March, 99, had finished work and started here. Went from the, the company car and suit and tie to on the tractor levelling a site to build the barn, winery. <laughs> So it was a big change. I think uh, wine can be almost like a, a bit of a calling. At some stage, a little light goes on in your head and you, you get a bit obsessed about it. About two years ago, we started a, a wine club called the James Flynn Wine Club, which is named after my father. And a lot of it is about giving members a wine experience rather than them just coming along or getting you know, a dozen wines sent out by courier. Um, it's about giving, giving them a real sort of behind the scenes experience and immersing them in wine. A lot of wine, unfortunately, what the consumer sees is from um, the glossy magazines and things like that. They don't actually get to see behind the scenes and what happens at the coalface. The whole thing about making good wine is having uh, quality fruit to start with and so you're very much at the mercy of the elements and mother nature. But Heathcote had so many things going for it, it's close to Melbourne. It's a terrific climate for growing vines and ripening fruit. But it's not just a drink, it's an experience and that's what we find with a lot of our the mail list customers who come back and a lot of people will say the same thing, they'll take a bottle of our wine out to a dinner party with friends because it gives them, it's like their little discovery, it's, you know, and they've been here, um, they've probably done barrel tastings, they might have helped with a little bit of wine making. That's what it's about, it's an experience, rather than just a drink. <laughs>